It's Thursday, July 31st, and you're watching Goracom TV. My name is Jim Heron, and I'm bringing you the headlines for today. First, from the OTCBB, we have Auto Info Inc. announces quarterly results. Net revenues increased by 46%. Auto Info is a non-asset based third party logistics service provider and they announced their six month uh, results today. Uh, here are the highlights. Gross revenues of $81.8 million as compared to $48.3 million for the prior year. Net revenues were $14.3 million for the current period as compared to $10 million for the prior year, an increase of 43% and income from operations um, of $2 million. Uh, for the current period, as compared to $1.3 million for the prior year, their net income was $1 million. Yesterday, they closed at $0.55, cents and their high and low are um, for the 52 weeks is $0.87 cents and $0.52. Cents. Our second OTCBB story today is Alliance Health Card reports fiscal 2008 third quarter results. Uh, the company reported uh, record quarterly revenues of $5.4 million, with operating income growth of 20%. Alliance Healthcare trades on the OTCBB under the symbol ALHC, and they are a leading provider of health discount and lifestyle benefits. Uh, some of the highlights, revenue increased by 13% to 5.4 million. Their gross profit is up 11% uh, to 2.5 million, and their operating income is uh, up 20% to 1.3 million. They're gonna have a, um, a conference call today to discuss the results, so, uh, Please uh, search their uh, ticker symbol so you get the information there. Yesterday they closed at $1.35 and their 52 week high and low are $2.25 and 75 cents. From the uh, TSX Venture Exchange, IMC, uh, Immersive Media Corp, uh, Immersive uh, Media Technology Powers OAE's Advanced Integrated Systems. Uh, they just, um, they've expanded an international position by providing an AIS uh, system to a leading Middle East uh, security solution company. Um, they, uh, the, the project is valued at approximately 73 million and 800 million. Those are pretty big numbers, so please do your due diligence. Um, Immersive Media Corp uh, traded yesterday at 92 cents, and their 52-week high low are $3.75 and 90 cents. Uh, from the TSX, we have Avalon Ventures. Avalon is an Agoracom client, so please do your own due diligence on this one. They have reported their remaining uh, assays from their phase two winter drilling, and, uh, and it produced the most encouraging results to date. Uh, the, the results are from their 100% Thor Lake rare, metal, um, rare Metals project, which is, eight, um, which is 100 kilometers southeast of uh, Yellowknife Northwest Territories. Uh, because rare earths are, are uh, metals that a lot of us do not understand, uh, Don Bubar will be recording a Beyond the Press release, a highly valuable tool for people that are familiar with Agoracom, and that will be available on Monday. Avalon Ventures traded yesterday at $1.80, and their 52-week high and low are $2.22 and 90 cents. Moving on, Midland Minerals reports significant gold mineralization in follow-up RC drilling at Cyan, Ghana. Uh, Midlands is a Agoracom client, so please do your due diligence on this one on your own. They trade on the Venture Exchange under the symbol MEX, and they uh, reported the results from an additional 22 holes totaling 2,707 meters of RC drilling that was completed in May. And uh, the highlight here is more than 50% of the holes encountered significant gold mineralization. And uh, they have actually identified um, uh, an increased resource from their earlier 43101 uh, of 92%. It goes from 100,000 uh, ounces to 192, 400 ounces of gold. And, uh, and that, again, was Midland Minerals. They traded yesterday at 22 cents and their 52-week high and low are 43 cents and 18 cents. Our next story, Arcana Corporation, 47.4 million ounce silver resource at Shafter Silver Mine confirmed by a 43101. Arcana Corporation trades on the venture exchange on the symbol AUN, um, and they, uh, uh, they have uh, now completed an NI43101 compliant resource estimate on their 100% Shafter Silver Mine, which is located in southwest Texas. Um, Arcana trades on the venture exchange on the symbol AUN, and uh, their 52-week high and low were $1.20 and 43 cents, and yesterday they traded at 44 and a half cents. Reservoir extends cor uh, corridor zone and intercepts massive sulfide mineralization at Brestovac. Reservoir Capital Corp trades on the venture exchange on the symbol REO. 
and they are pleased to report the results of a current drill program and recently acquired historical data to extend and mineralize cor uh, corridor zone at Brestovac to some 700 meters in strike length. Uh, additionally, their drill hole BN19 intercepted a massive sulfide zone with 24.8 meters at 0.33% copper and 0.16 grams per ton of gold, which uh, supports the company's uh, concept of uh, epithermal gold mineralization. Reservoir uh, traded yesterday at 73 cents and their 52-week high and lower at $1.11 and 55 cents. And uh, they again trade on the Venture Exchange under the symbol REO. Uh, Sarah Genty intersects 65 meters grading of 1.09% copper, 1.21 grams per ton of gold, and 87 meters grading at 0.89% copper and 1.18 grams per ton of gold at uh, Kainka. Sarah Genty Resource trades on the Venture Exchange on the symbol SIR, and uh, these, um, this is a, uh, a, a promising results from, um, from the bunch of holes uh, from their 2008 drill program, which is underway in their 100% owned Kawinka Copper Gold property in British Columbia. Yesterday they traded at 43 cents and their 52 week high lower at $1.91 and 37 cents. Uh, moving on, we have uh, Canplatz Resources, uh, which trades on the venture exchange on the symbol CPQ. Uh, they, uh, uh, Canplatz, um, is pleased to announce the results of 12 reverse circulation drill holes completed in the Represa zone, uh, the Camino Rojo uh, project in the state of uh, Zacatecas in Mexico. Uh, yesterday, Camp Lax, uh, traded at uh, $3.50 and the 52 week high or lower, $5.43 and 23 cents. Those are our stories for today, a lot of stories uh, on the day, so please uh, check around their site for more news and uh, join us again tomorrow.